friends, I'm Mary Avina. It's a wonderful day to practice and study the game we love. Last week's video featuring the carom combination shot led to you guys asking some very great questions. The question that stood out the most was about follow versus force follow. After all, I do love force follow. So that's what we are focusing on today. First, let us define follow. Follow is striking the cue ball above center, creating forward spin. In other words, the ball rolls forward. Now, for one of my favorite ways to strike the cue ball, force follow. Follow's extreme cousin. <laughs> force follow is striking the cue ball above center with maximum forward spin. To illustrate, I will do the same shot twice. One with follow and one with force follow. Keep in mind, I will be striking the cue ball in the same spot, only mirrored. The cue ball is only reacting differently because of the difference in speed when struck. Showtime! Mm -hmm. sure. smile. Let us do another example. Okay, in this example we have a shot, but the rest of the balls are tied up. I will execute the same shot two different ways. With follow, then finally with force follow. Just like in the previous example, keep in mind I will be striking the cue ball in the same spot. Again, the cue ball is only reacting differently because of the difference in striking speed. Okay, let's make it so. First, with follow. Notice how we broke the balls up, but we don't have a shot. Let's do it again with force follow. Okay, this time we will use force follow. Notice how we created a run out. Review that. With follow, notice how we get a breakout, but not a run up. We are still trapped, just in a different way. Now, with force follow, we create our run out from nothing. That extra speed came in handy. Now we can win. <laughs> I hope this lesson has helped you understand follow and force follow. It was a pleasure working on your game today. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. See you next time. <laughs>